hello everyone so today we will discuss like how we can uh, do kind of the load testing or the performance testing of any rest apis using apache jmeter as this is mentioning this is uh, based on the like uh, provided of the apache and this is a very very good tool for uh, doing those kind of load testings we can easily set up any rest apis in this uh, jmeter tool and then accordingly we can do the load testings for this one so if we are going to do a basics load testing with this apache jmeter and uh, about this tool actually it's a open source software and it can be used to simulate uh, load uh, of various scenarios and output performance data in several ways like including the csv and the xml files graphs and it's a hundred percent pure java application so it's a platform independent so if we are going to this tool like it's also having uh, like lot of features like uh, ability to load and performance uh, test many different applications easy correlations through the ability to extract data from most popular like response formats like uh, html json xml or any textual format it's a complete like portability and 100 percent java purity and the one main thing is that it's a full multi-threading multi framework allows concurrent sampling by many threads and uh, simulate simultaneously sampling of different functions by separate thread groups so if we are like how can we install this one so for installing we need to go to the like apache jmeter website and from there we need to download this particular tool so or software and after downloading it will be downloaded as a zip file and then from there we need to extract it and we need to keep it in our locations and from there we can easily like uh, like uh, we need to run something if we are going to use in a like linux environment then we need to run the cell script if you are going to run in windows then we need to run the like bat file so once the installation is done then we can easily run those things so i will i will uh, like uh, explain how we can run this one and how we can set up this one so before that what do we need actually for uh, doing the load testing we need this tool jmeter tool and uh, obviously we need one to rest apis so for the rest apis what i did i have created one rest api i have created one spring boot project and over there i have created one uh, like uh, rest apis applications so i will explain like how i have created those things and uh, there is one rest apis i have also created so that uh, we just need to uh, like uh, uh, trigger those uh, we just need to uh, trigger you can say or maybe we need to just uh, configure those uh, rest apis using uh, in the jmeter then accordingly we can run those things let's see how can we set up those rest apis in using the jmeter and how can we run the load testing and performance testing so from this side we can easily download this jmeter apache jmeter and once you download it and then the, after download i kept it this particular software over here and once the download is done then you can it will actually download it as zip and then from there we need to extract it after extraction it will be look like something this one then inside of this bin you will find out like jmeter.sh and the jmeter. there is one bat file would be yeah this one so if we run this it means using in the windows then uh, we need to run this one bat and if you in, in the linux then we need to run this one so let's run this one okay so once uh means uh, this is uh, done means this is run successfully and default it will like uh, it will uh, below it will show us the below screen right like, like something like there's a test plant and it's having some menus over here so next uh, let's like what is this test plan actually so if we're going to write in it like any plan let's see what is this test plan so it's a it can be viewed as a container for running tests it defines uh, what to test and how to go about it if you are going to run a proper test plan then it's having we need to configure something like thread groups timers processors mm, uh, headers and like etc like configuration some kind of elements so those things we need to configure we can easily like add it or remove it uh, test plan by 
over here like right click and then uh, here we can add some plans from here and also we can uh, like delete all those things so those can be very easily done over here so if we are going to add some things like add we are going to taste something then first what you need to do you need to like add from this threads like thread group so it will be look like something like here it will we need to provide number of threads run up period and the loop count so i'll explain like uh, what is uh, what is it actually so so once this thread group is done then from here we need to create a sampler then HTTP requests and here actually we need to configure uh, our APIs whatever the API is we need to test uh, that API is we need to configure here so for me I have already created one like a Spring Boot project for example this talk image that is already I have created earlier and uh, it is running actually as you can see it's a 8082 port and uh, the post mapping it's a post mapping add item and it's a header one is also like apis so what it will do it will also having this uh, means request body like it's having an item and the quantity so that is a we need to pass so we need to pass over so the api is something look like this right local host 880 apis add items so from this apache here what we need to pass the port over here 8082 server name or ip we need to provide the ip or the server name like for me it's a localhost okay it's a protocol so it's a protocol would be the http and here we need to provide the port number like 8082 so it's a post request so here we need to pass the post and the path is like api slash let's check again the api and the add item so api and then add item right so if it is a post then obviously we need to provide some body as we see like body is having uh, like items and books items and quantity so we need to add it over here okay so this is a kind of request is ready right so now if we are going to run this one so what it will do yes we need to save it save it. okay as it is not showing anything result over here right so for getting those result what do you need to do we need to add some view results so how can we add those things or how can we get uh, those uh, like uh, those results so like here here we need to like this one we need to add this listener now let's run this one okay so it's uh, content type uh, this 4050 what response we get actually load time this is the time content type this latency zero so that means it is not run successfully so this is the request and this is the response we got right so it is not able to connect so meaning like server is not started so we need to start this one so let's run this one and one more point uh, for this one so i am use the h2 in term in memory database as you can see the h2 in memory database so once it is started then we can uh, also check the like the h2 database also started let's connect this one okay let's check it's having any data no here is no data right let's run this one again it's okay 415 means the it's not a supported media type meaning we need to provide the valid media type so how can we provide those things so from here we need to this one add this one is here we need to add what we need to add we need to add the content type content type so what should be a content type it's a application slash json we need to save 
let's run this one yeah it's success now right so what is the response request is this is the request and the response is 200 right let's check from the database also here yes this is the so that means in this way we can just easily check the same thing we can done from the postman also now if we are come to the load testing so obviously load testing means we need to run multiple records uh, with multiple thread in a with some time so that we can understand those means how it is behaving with the load testing right this is the main scenarios so how can we do that so uh, for doing this load testing we need to reconfigure the test plan to have the several thread related the power right so today we need to like in the thread group we need to add some properties uh, to be load and so like as uh, if we are go in the apache jmeter server here here you can see like there is a number of thread uh, then the ramp up period and uh, like a loop count so these are the properties actually we need to set so number of thread means uh, it's a users actually so the number of user that actually jmeter will attempt to simulate ramp up period in seconds actually you can see it's a seconds meaning the duration of the time that jmeter will distribute the start of the threads over next is the like loop count so the number of times to execute the test right so that actually we need to update so like for example we need to update the number of thread 10 and this one and loop count also one so if we are doing this let's run this one let's see the result okay meaning that like one two three four it's a 10 times so it's this in certain 10 times the but the thing is that here you can see the request is same for all so what it will do if we are sending the same request then every time it will update the request in the same table right let's see let's run this one so now the quantity is 100 now it will be 1100 so it will updating this items right now let's say like if we want to update added the unique value. so for like uh, if we want to store the unique items then we need to configure something over here from here as in the body data we are passing these are the these are the static so that's why it's adding the quantity every time but if you want to store this the items should be unique like book uh, and then maybe another things uh, like shoes and uh, mobiles something others then we need to maybe that also be possible but for the time being i am just trying to add one dynamic variable with this one so how can we add this one means we need to if we want to provide this one so there is a concept of like uh, uh, random variables so how we can add this one so here from here we can add this one random variable the name should be like something like id and also need to provide the minimum number one and the maximum number for example 500 and then just save it and this id also we need to bind with this uh, here right so how can we bind this one like dollar then id now let's run this one check the results yes so the 10 records is inserted right if we want to check from the database also you can see these are the the dynamic number append with this item right and all the 10 records are inserted over here correct so in this way we can do this those things if we want to like uh, check like some kind of the it's uh, there are some parameters in the sample results so like uh, the load time the latency and also there is a response code is 200 so latency meaning like the number of milliseconds that elapsed between uh, when j meter send the request and uh, initial response was if this is the kind of the latency there are some other parameters also that we can check uh, we can also export the result from here so there are actually a lot of things for exploring so this is the like pretty like uh, not complex kind of things we can easily configure in our like test plan easily we can configure our thread group accordingly like over here we can run it multiple times with mul in multi-thread concept we can easily simulate those things you can check like how uh, whatever the api we have written how it is performing so those kind of things we can easily check all right so this is very useful tool 
if you guys having any kind of queries please do let me know in the comment section so that i can uh, reply those things for the time being uh, bye bye and thank you